Hello, Tex Andrews with the Light Zone Project, and in this video we'll do a quick tour of the browser module. Certain functions of the browser module will be handled in separate videos to give more detail. This is just a real overview of just the browser module. So when you open the program, you have your image preview pane, you have your film strip area down here. Here's the image that's been selected and put up in the image preview pane. On the left hand side, here's our folder tree. The folder that is open is where this dark bar is. These are the files from that folder. At the top of the folder tree, there's a drop down menu displaying the path of that particular folder in your folder tree system. And if you have opened more than one folder in your browsing session, you'll see these arrows activated up here and you can use them to navigate back to a previous folder or forward to the folder you were just in. Over here on the right hand side is your metadata area. Some of this stuff is filled in automatically. There are six dark bars here that can take user content and two of these show arrows. In my preferences, which I'll talk about uh, using the preferences in LightZone in a separate video, I have already created copyright and creator content. So I can just click these arrows now and LightZone automatically fills them in. At the top there's a rating place where you can give a particular image a star rating if you wish. You can expand and contract these sidebars by grabbing the little dotted area here and you can change the size of the image preview area or the film strip area by doing the same thing. Note that if your folder tree is particularly long there will be a scroll bar that you can use with arrows at the top and bottom and if you diminish the area of the sidebar horizontally there will also be a horizontal scroll bar down here and arrows like that that does not occur on the other side with the metadata area. If you want to eliminate these sidebars altogether, just click their tabs and they disappear. If you want to show more than one image in the image preview area, simply select an additional image and there you have a side-by-side -side comparison and you can do, I think, up to four of them just like that. We'll go back to this image. Notice here in the film strip area that these two images are linked with a gray surround. This is a raw image. This is the sidecar file containing the edits that were in it. Uh, that will show no matter what, how many images here you have uh, edited. Uh, there's more on that particular function in LightZone in the saving and converting videos which you should watch because those are rather different um, routines in LightZone than in other programs. Up here on the main editor, main browser menu bar you have an open icon and you can browse through files in this way and select them. Here you have an editor icon button. You can move to the editor module by clicking this. You can also do it by clicking down here in the lower right hand corner in this button. You can click in the image, you see the hand symbol, and you can double click on any of the images in the film strip. All of those will take you to the editor module. You can print from the browser module if you wish. If you have files that are appropriate for sending to a printer, you can select them and send them to the printer in this way. You can also apply styles directly from the browser module to selected images. You can select as many as you want. And this of course includes any custom styles that you've made. There will be a separate video on styles. So watch that video for a whole uh, explanation of what styles are in LightZone. Here is a button that allows you to send the image to another file folder. So if you, for instance, wanted to upload a lot of images from a particular folder uh, to the web, you can 
use this little dialog box and this allows you to resize them all with preset sizes if you wish or don't limit. Uh, you can choose the folder where you want these to go and send them here by clicking the send button. Here is a convert button. Once again, if you have an image down here that, or a file down here that's appropriate for conversion, so for instance here is a JPEG LZN sidecar file, this is a file that's appropriate for conversion. I could use this icon up here, click that button, and it'll bring down a dialog box for conversion. Watch again the saving and converting videos about that whole process. But in this way, using the styles, the convert, the send, you can batch process through the browser module. You can select as many images as you want to go through all three of these routines. Down here in the middle menu bar, we have buttons for orienting your particular image, 90 degrees left or right, and you can keep using them to roll it all the way around. There's a rating button here also, including a remove rating. There's a delete button to delete things. And then here are two images, two icons. The first one that's highlight right now is lift tools. If you have a sidecar file ready, you can lift the tool stack from the sidecar file and then apply it to as many images as you wish. Once you have lifted it and that copies it to a pasteboard, then the icon right to the right of the lift tools icon will become high lit and you can apply those that tool stack to any images you select and that's another way to batch process. Here is a little icon that says stack. You'll note that these two images are side by side. If I click that I can stack them up and you'll see that now there's a small icon in the upper left hand corner that says two so that tells me how many things I've got stacked up there. I can unstack them like this. This wand will allow you to select the most recent version from each stack if you wish to do that. So that's another way to, you can use this to help you do batch processing by selecting only the most recent version and doing a conversion routine or a send routine up here. You can increase or decrease. I'm going to change the size of our film strip and image pane. You can increase or decrease the size of the thumbnails by scrolling on this bar right here. Over here is a drop down menu that allows you to sort the images in the file strip by file name, capture time, rating, modification time, aperture, shutter speed, file size, lens used, or focal length. And so you can sort however you wish when you select any of these. And then finally, there's a button here that allows you to sort ascending or descending by file number and or rating uh, star. So that's a brief tour of the um, browser module. Let me add to that. Up here is the main editor menu and you have that both in the browser module and the edit module. You'll note that some things are grayed out. The things that are grayed out in the browser module are typically those things that are only available if you are in the editor module. You can access Lightzone Help up here from this menu or you can click over here on this little question mark and get to the help menu that way. Uh, and once again if you click these tabs you can see the entire browser module. Thanks for watching.